Konnichiwa. Welcome back if you were with us yesterday and if you were not. Um, this is Hannah, my daughter, and I am Kimberly Ostrowski, the owner and instructor here at Resolute Warrior Academy. And we thought we would do these exercise videos for you guys who are at home and can't get out and you know, go to gym class at the school, or maybe you um, play soccer or do football wrestling. I'm not quite sure what's on at the schools right now, but if you're unable to do those things, this is one way that you can still condition your body and lift your spirits and it will help you out mentally, get, the, get that energy out when you're um, stuck at home. Now in yesterday's video, I said that I would tell you what the dojo was and I forgot, so I have to do that right now. This area up here, is called the dojo, okay? And this part of the dojo is called the Bushido Khan. That's the training hall. The rest of the building, it's the Resolute Warrior Academy. And when we're out here on the mats, we are learning how to protect ourselves and we're developing ourselves into um, better versions of ourselves, if that makes sense. You know, trying to uh, build our character, you know, tell the truth, um, be kind to others, help other people, all those things. It's all part of the training that we do. And dojo means, in Japanese, that means the way place. So up here it's the way place for the things that I just mentioned, personal protection and personal development. Um, we count in Japanese because what we train in comes from the Japanese people, the Japanese culture. And so in one way to show respect to the people that we have learned this from, we use their language, okay? And at the beginning I said konnichiwa, that means hello in Japanese. Um, today we're gonna do similar things that we did yesterday. We're going to do three exercises and we'll do them twice and then we'll break it up with a, a yoga pose of some, you know, today it's gonna be warrior two, because we're warriors. And then we'll do another set of three exercises two times. Okay, so let's start with our warm-ups. Remember, we start from the head and we work our way down to the body. Um, we didn't do all of them yesterday that we do up here at the dojo, and we'll probably just do a handful again just for the sake of the duration of the video. But you're welcome to replay this video as many times as you want and exercise as many times as you want. Um, it, it's all up to you and how much energy that you have, okay? So let's breathe in and out through the mouth. Again, in. And then exhale through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And last one, we're gonna cross our arms and get ready to ki that spirit shout. Remember, a, ya, or height. Okay, so breathe in. Height, good. Starting with our head nods. So hands on your hips. To the chin, to the center, or the chin to the chest, to the center, and then tipping the head back. So. And let's do it in Japanese today, okay? So, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, tipping to the side, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, turning your head like you're saying no, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ichi, ni, San, shi, go, roku, shi, chi, hachi. Now, if you were with us yesterday, there was a time where we turned our head like this during one of our exercises. So that would be a martial application of protecting the head. Can you remember what motion or what exercise we did where we turned our head to the side? If you can't, play back yesterday's video and see if you can find it. All right, Pull, pushing and pulling. Ichi ni san shi go roku shichi hachi ichi ni san shi go roku shichi hachi ichi ni san shi go roku shichi hachi I think I did an extra step but that's all right <laughs> Ichi ni san shi go roku shichi hachi ichi ni san shi go roku shichi hachi good feet together this is where we're gonna punch high and then punch low Okay, keeping the back of the legs straight. So up high on the tippy toes, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shi, chi, hachi, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shi, chi, hachi. Good. Squatting, okay. Hands coming above the head. We're gonna tip, ichi, ni, san, shi, 
Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi. Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi. Oh, I'm gonna do the other side. <laughs> Here we go, twisting. Ichi, Ni, San, Shi. Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi. Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi. Good. Taking this leg nice and straight, toes are up. And your back leg is bent with the knee pointed out, hand on your hip, and then just above the knee here. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shi, chi, hachi. Go a little lower. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shi, chi, hachi. And now to the other side. Okay. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shi, chi, hachi. Lower. Ichi, ni, san, shi, Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi. Good. Come on up. We're going to do what's called a cat stretch. We didn't do this yesterday, so I want you to lace your fingers together. Okay. Feet are together. And we're going to step out to our right side. And just watch. We're going to straighten that back leg and then arch our back and stretch and bring our hands down to our forehead. And then we're going to come back to the center. And we're just making a big loop with the hands. Can you see it? like this, and then we reverse it when it comes back down. All right, we're gonna step to the right and we're gonna step to the left. We'll do it two times on each side. So place your fingers, here we go, and you inhale. And when we stretch, we're gonna exhale. So right now, exhale. Good, inhale. Now we have to step to our left side. Exhale. Inhale. Through the nose, exhale, through the mouth, push it out. Good, inhale. And exhale. Good job. So coming back, breathing in. Exhale. And PI. Hi. Hi. All right, so we're gonna start off our first Jogging, right? So jog in place, get the heart rate up just a little bit. And the first exercise we're gonna do is called curtsy lunge, okay? We're gonna get you ready for something that's called skater jumps, and we'll do that by doing this curtsy lunge. And so in like another day, you know, a couple days from now, maybe we'll do those um, skater jumps. They're a little bit tricky, but they're fun. They get the heart rate going, okay? So we're gonna stop, curtsy. Think you're meeting the queen, right? You're gonna put your hands on your hips, you're gonna step behind. And if you can touch your knee down, awesome. If you cannot, and you can only go this far, that's okay too. There's nothing wrong. You're still moving, you're still working your muscles, okay? So that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Um, next, we're going to do what's called, I have to look at my sheet because I have some things planned out. We're going to do what's called cross jacks, okay? So you're going to start out kind of like star shaped, okay? Think of your star, and you're just going to cross your legs and cross your arms, and then come back. You're working on synchronization, you're working on your coordination, your gross motor movements. It's an awesome thing for your body, okay? So come on in here. Hannah doesn't get to sit this one out. <laughs> All right, start with your feet apart. We're gonna do, let's see if we can do 10 of them, okay? And then maybe the next time around, we'll count up to 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. And next, we're gonna do what's called knee smashes, okay? So you're gonna make your hands like this. And you're gonna drive that knee in and then step it back. Okay, we're gonna do 10 on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, switching to the other side, no stopping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good. All right, so we have to do that whole uh, circuit again, the, those three exercises again. So back to the curtsy lunges, stepping behind, touching the knee down if you can. If you can't, then just stay right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. All right, next were the um, cross jacks. Let's count it in Japanese this time. Let's count it in English. So you're gonna get some educational stuff, even though you're not in school. You're gonna learn how to count in Japanese, right? And you're gonna learn some Japanese names. So you're getting some language now. Ready? All right. <laughs> Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ku, ju, juichi, juni, jusan, juyon, jugo, juroku, and I did the next one. That's all right, that was bonus. You like the counting. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the last one of that series was the knee smashes. So get your hands ready. Here we go. Ten on each side. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ku, ju, switch. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ku, ju. Good. Let's breathe. Were you able to do them all with us? If you weren't, that's okay. One more time. I needed the extra breath. Again, Kiai, hi! If you find that you can only do five in a set or eight in a set, that's okay. You know, I do exercises every day, and there's sometimes I can't do everything that they're doing, because you know what? Sometimes my knee hurts, you know? And I have to take it a little bit easier, but I keep moving and doing what I can do. And that's all that you have to do. Do what you can do. Um, so that warrior two pose I was telling you about. So yesterday, it's kind of similar to yesterday's where you had the front knee bent and the back leg straight. That stays the same. The only thing is the bottom or the back leg, that foot turns outward. So if I turn this way so you can see, this helps stabilize, okay? And my hands, right here. So go ahead and jump in, Hannah. Okay, does that make you feel stronger, like a warrior? What do you think warrior means? Maybe that could be what you tell me today in the uh, comments after the video. If you enjoyed this and you're, you're liking what we're doing, tell us in the comments what you think a warrior is or who a warrior is or what it means, okay? Maybe right now, warriors are our doctors and our nurses because they're taking care of us. Maybe they're people who work in the nursing homes to take care of the elderly. Maybe it's law enforcement to you or uh, military people. Or firefighters. Could be your parents, you know? Who, who do you think is a warrior and why? Good. We didn't even count, but that's all right. We held it long enough. All right, so now we have the next three exercises, which happen to be touchdowns. So we did those late yesterday. We're going to do planks with side touches and then back rolls again. We did that yesterday. So two we're repeating, and the third one um, is something a little bit different, but you've done in planks, so it's not going to be too much different. All right, let's start with the touchdowns to get our, um, our heart rate back up, okay? So let's face each other again like we did yesterday. For yesterday okay so your job and Hannah's job is to count one two three so we know how many times we have to sidestep see this was the third time and then we're gonna touch down and we have to sidestep one two three and my job I'm gonna count how many times we do that so that you know we're not doing this 50 times unless that's something you want to do so Hannah looks tired I don't think we're gonna do 50 all right ready okay so counting Squat down, hands are up here, and we call this protection posture, okay? Not up here where we have blinders on, but right down in front of our chest. All right, so hold on. Nice and low. Three. One. One, two, three. Knee, we'll call it One, two, three. Five. We do that. Three. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Roku. One, two, three. Shichi. One, two, three. Hachi. One, two, three. Ku. One, two, three. 
Juni, good. That was 12. All right. So next one, we got the heart rate up. We're going to do our plank with side touches. What that means. So like I was watching yesterday's video and I saw that my backside was not down. So you got to get after me on that because <laughs> I want to do it right. So today, you're going to get into plank position. You got to keep that backside down. You have your feet closer together. So now you're working on your balance. You're going to step out to the side and out to the side, okay? We're gonna do that 10 times all together, not per side, okay? Go ahead, ready? Get down, you face the camera and I'll face this way. Okay. So don't forget to turn your head though in case, in case you lose your balance, you wanna, you're not gonna fall flat on your face and break your nose, right? Gotta protect ourselves. So turn your head, side touching. So EG, back to center, knee, San, Shi. Go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Good. Now, what if it's really hard for you, you know, to be up on like this? You can put your knees down and you can still do your touches out to the side. There's nothing wrong with this. And if that's difficult, you can be in like a table position like this and you can still touch out. Okay, so let's stretch our back for just a second. This is called child's pose. So your big toes are touching, your knees are apart, and this is just gonna help your back relax a little bit. Okay, good. All right, now the back roll. Okay, so. All right, arms are crossed, chin is tucked to the chest. Arching the back when you roll, and don't forget to breathe. Okay, so here we go. Ichi. Knee. San. Shi. Go. Roku. Shichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Stand up. So we have to repeat that one more time, right? Because we only did it once. <laughs> we only did that once. Yep. So touchdowns, okay? Your job is to count to three. Can you do it in Japanese? Give it a go. Ichi ni san. Let's see if Hannah can do it. All right, and I'll count the set. All right, ready? Knee squat. Ichi we got off on that, but that's okay. You know, her counting in Japanese messed me up a little bit there. That was kind of funny. That's right. See, you're supposed to have fun. It's not about being rigid and perfect all the time. It's about having fun and having a good laugh. Because I'm not perfect. I mess up. And they laugh at me. And they mess up. And I laugh at them. And it's all good. All right. So next, we're going to do that plank position again with the side touches with the feet. Okay? So, like I said, if you need to do it from this position here and just Stepping out, that's okay. If you can put your knees back farther and get deeper down in that plank and touch out, good. And if you you can do it here, awesome. Ready? Here we go. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go. Turn your head. Roku, shichi, hachi, ku, ju. Good. Put the knees down. Sit back into that child's pose. Stretch. And come on up. Good. Up. Oh, actually, we're not coming up. We're going down. We're staying down. We got the back roll to do, and that will be our last one. Ready? So, chin, arms, back. Ichi. Knee. Side. Shi. Go. Roku. Shichi. Hachi. Ku. 
Ju. Ju. Awesome. Come on up. Let's breathe in and out again. Fill up with good oxygen. Push all of that uh, carbon dioxide out. Again. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Last one, cross your arms and key eye. Hi. Hey! All right, last pose, okay? This one is the child or chair pose that we did yesterday. So here's some variations. If this is where you need to stay and this is the easiest to do, you're right here. If that feels pretty easy to you, you can bring your feet in. Make sure that you're sitting like you're sitting in a chair, okay? So the deeper you go, the more your legs are gonna shake. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of a little bit of pain. It's okay. And if you want to make it harder, lift your arms up. Good. Get down. And if you really want to make it hard, watch my feet. I'm going to step out and then I'm going to lift on the balls of my feet. Okay, that would be the next step. Or you can keep your feet together and touching. And you can see my legs and ankles shaking, right? Good. Just hold that there. Sit down in it more. Can you do it? And stand. Good job. Let's do a few stretches. Okay, yesterday we forgot to do that. It's important to stretch after you've exercised. Exercised because your muscles are warm. And they just worked really hard. And you want to stretch them back out so they relax. Okay, so let's start with our head. We're going to put our hand on the side. Don't force it, just stretch it out alongside the neck here, right? For a few seconds, switching to the other side. Good. And now, taking your arm and pressing it up here behind my elbow. See, this is my elbow, so I'm up here. You're getting some signs in, knowing where your body is, right? And to the other side, if you want to do it manually, you can squeeze or Swing your arms out, come in, get a little bit of extra motion in there, sneaking in some more exercise. Now take that arms and bring it up behind the back, and then this arm presses against the elbow. Okay, good. You feel that stretch right here? Other side, excellent. Good. Now, Good stretch for the legs. Come on down here. I want you to lay on your back and put your one leg out straight and the other one bring it up to your chest. Squeeze just below the knee, not on the knee. Okay, and you can just rock back and forth a little bit. Okay, switch feet. Rock it back and forth a little bit. Can you bring both legs in? Rock back and forth. Good. And come on up. And then, um, so you can see, let me back up a little bit. I don't have the highest tech uh, camera and all. We make do with what we got. So we got to back up. But one leg is out straight, the other one is bent in. And you're just going to reach for your foot. flexible on my left than I am on my right. That's for sure. And that's okay. I try. I work at it every day. Good. Go ahead and sit cross-legged. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Key eye. Stand to say our goodbye. Okay. Hope you have a good. <laughs> she said sayonara. We hope you have a good afternoon or good day. I'm not sure when you're watching this. Okay. Stay safe. Remember in the comments, tell me um, what you think warrior means. Okay.